Yak, yak, yak. The webcam works. YouTube here on a uh, Monday yeah I believe it is Monday 1157 now is the time uh, I am here trying out my uh, uh, webcam using cheese uh, you guys may recall I used that on the previous uh, a previous computer and uh, it worked seemed to work fine uh, at first I had problems with it uh, when I would go out of the program program it would lock up my keyboard but so far that uh, quit that stopped doing that in um, my previous computer and it, it hasn't done it on here I did I did run a test first to make sure it was working um, so basically it's working <laughs> we're happy about that uh, the uh, computer uh, is down there and I, I know that it looks weird on the thing but that's where it's at down there <laughs> it's basically in the same spot as the old one was. I have my uh, printer on top of it now again. Um, I have all of the uh, USB connections except for one and that is the one I usually hook up my uh, uh, cameras to when I download or upload images and videos from my camera, uh, Canon and the, the Kodak, things like that for videos. And that uh, usually sits right here, and I, I, I've got that handy here to get to if I need to. Uh, I just don't have it hooked up at the moment, though. So Everything else is working good. I have uh, both the hard drives, external hard drives, hooked up right now. Um, anyway, like I say, both the uh, hard drives are working, and uh, everything seems to be hunky-dory with those. I have the, uh, the one terabyte and I'm going to be wiping that down, wiping it down, wiping the files off of it uh, soon. I, I like to make sure when I transfer files from one hard drive to another that things are going well and I, before I go and wipe the, the uh, source of that. So uh, I've got to do that. And then, uh, like I said, the other hard drive, the new one, it's a three terabyte, blah, 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 three terabyte hard drive, but in actuality, it's not. Uh, you know how bits and bytes go. You guys, computer guys, know what I'm talking about. But uh, it, when it comes down to it, I have one two terabyte partition on the drive, and I did this for a reason, which I'll explain. Uh, and then a, an 800 gigabyte hard uh, partition as well. Uh, both of these uh, are uh, formatted as FAT32, and FAT32 will only go up to 2 gigabytes, or 2 terabytes, I'm sorry, uh, on a hard drive, and that's the limit. Uh, that's, why, that's why I had to set it up the way I did. But that's not a problem, because like I said, I, I, I really, it really worked out for me, because I put my video on the uh, big, big partition, the 2 terabyte uh, partition, it's got all my video on it. And then on the smaller 800 gigabyte, I've got all the rest of my data on there that I usually save to the uh, other hard drive. And I think it only takes up like 200 gig at the most. And that'll give a lot of room for expansion on both drives. And that will just work out better for me. Now the one terabyte drive, once I wipe the files off of it, I probably will use it for backup on the... Uh, uh, video files and things like that uh, there will come a time when I'll fill up that two, <laughs> two terabyte drive and I will need some some place to put the, the files I don't want to save these things forever obviously um, I the ones that were on uh, other drives I've, I've you know since I've I updated the computer from this to that to that to this uh, they have been gone for some time I have not missed those uh, I don't really the, uh, I always thought the one I wanted to save was the actual raw data or raw files that I recorded to the camera with the camera and I, I don't really use those because I, I make a video from them and after I do that they're pretty much done I, I don't really go back and, and use any other data from them unless it was a recent one and, and I needed to get something but other than that I really don't do that so uh, that's that uh, so on to the next part of this. Uh, what I'm going to do is, is uh, you know, different different people learn at different rates. Bill's always talking about uh, 
how he doesn't learn like everyone else, and I understand that. I'm the same way. I, everybody is different. They, you know, you don't uh, learn exactly the same way as everybody else. Uh, but what I wanted to go over here is one of the best people I have found for me uh, <laughs> to learn from is Rick McWhorter over at uh, All American Five Radio, the YouTube channel. Uh, he, uh, I just his ex explanations just sink in to the gray matter. A lot better than others I've tried and uh, I give you an example I for for years I have known how uh, radio signal flow goes I, I know it goes from the antenna to the RF section through the mixer oscillator goes into it turns that into IF or the IF filters it out and it goes to the detector and it goes to the audio and the ABC comes up I know all that but I don't know the uh, the bare bones of it, or I didn't, I should say. I do now, uh, <laughs> thanks to Rick. Um, Rick is uh, he's very deliberate in his um, speech patterns, and it just seems like it soaks in better. Uh, but he uh, and Bob had alluded to this when we got to, to messing with this uh, um, hybrid radio that I'm I'm going to work on. Um, He's been uh, kind of. I know he gets frustrated with me because I don't. I don't understand exactly how the circuits work like he does. Uh, but I'm trying to do better. And in my uh, my education in this, from when I was in school, uh, we uh, we concentrated on getting our FCC licenses. That was that was deemed the necessary thing back when I went to school, which was the late '70s, early '80s, um, and we were like I said uh, our teacher said to told us that that was the thing to do was to get that FCC license in order to get a job now that was what it was geared towards I, I don't know that I was gearing that way but that's what they geared the course to and that was the only one available and that's the only one I could take so I did learn quite a bit and I probably learned this in other words I was probably taught this because we went over a lot of uh, tube theory and things like that and I, I just don't recall it. And, and basically what it is is, uh, you know, when the uh, signal gets to the detector, um, how, how does that actually work? Um, you know, I always thought my th way of thinking was that the orientation of the diode in the tube or in the transistor, where, wherever you want to look at it, uh, was how was the thing that determined whether you use the positive uh, side of the waveform or the negative side because the audio is on both the positive and the negative side of the carrier signal that 455 kilohertz carrier signal that comes through the IF you have an audio on top you have audio on the bottom positive negative and you can use either one but and I, I like I say I didn't really understand this um, I always thought like I said depending on how the diode was turned I didn't know uh, it's not. <laughs> it uh, the reason it, it comes out on using the negative size, and they use that for the ABC, which makes sense when you think about it. Um, the reason it, it the the way that works is it comes off the bottom of the transistor or transformer. Uh, in other words, the negative half of the transformer is what where you get your uh, audio and your uh, ABC from. And like I said, that's, that's something I never did really understand. Uh, so, you know, because it is available, again, at the top of the transformer and at the bottom. And it, it, some diodes, uh, some tubes have two diodes in there. You may notice that sometimes. One's just basically not used. And that's kind of kind of neat uh, when you stop and think about how it works. But Rick, Rick goes through that and explains that. And that's the part that has been missing from my education uh, of, of how things work and I learn better when I know how they work. Um, I, you can tell me all day long that it works that way but until you actually explain that how it works and show me how it works on a scope or whatever and explain it to me that it works that way and that's, that's how it comes off. I don't, I don't get it as good. So uh, anyway uh, my screen has just went <laughs> dark um, apparently, uh, I, I have to, uh, I've got to get this, uh, uh, 
screensaver, you, you may recall I, I said some more stuff about the screensaver on my other computer that I had to go in there and turn it off at the beginning when I first logged on to it. And this one is the same way, and I have yet to find the screensaver on this one. Uh, same system, it's not in the same place. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, uh, getting back to, uh, that's why I usually, you guys may notice my uh, my cursor going on when I'm doing screen uh, recordings and things like that. That's why I'm doing that. It's to keep the uh, video up, make sure it's going to stay up, because I don't want to lose my video in the middle of a, a, a video, a, making a, a screen recording, because like, that would be kind of stupid, <laughs> I think. Anyway, uh, that's what I wanted to go over, kind of, is is to let you know, uh, I understand that different people understand different, or uh, learn different ways, and that is one of the, the big things with me, is actually seeing how it works. I went through a big thing with, uh, with my teacher when we went through school, and I may have mentioned this before, but I'm going to mention it again because I thought it was important. Uh, he told me that uh, if, if there was... Uh, whatever voltage on the cathode of a tube the the voltage on the next thing which is the control grid was opposite of that in other words it was negative of that if there was a, just say a one volt on the cathode there would be a negative one volt on the grid and I said okay why and I tell you what, he worked hard to get that through to my head, and he could not. He, all the thing he could tell me is that was the way it was. And finally, he did. He just said, just accept it. That's what the way it works. He could not prove one way how that happens in the tube. And I'm sure there is a way of explaining it better than that, but he never really did explain that, that, you know, that's just the way it works. Um. <laughs> So anyway, I, that's the kind of person I am. I have to understand why, in addition to knowing how or whatever, I have to know why it works that way. I, that's just how I, I learn. Uh, and this uh, option, uh, obviously, I've been watching a lot of Rick McWhorter's uh, videos. He did one on uh, FM discriminator. I, I've never really understood how discriminators or detectors work in FM. Uh, I do now. Uh, I understand that actually they basically turn that FM signal into AM and then it's just de detected like a, a normal AM signal. <laughs> Pretty simple uh, when you think about it. But, you know, until you really know that and see that how it works, you know, you don't really understand. I mean, I know that a detector de detects its signal and it comes out audio. I understand that. No problem. And for most, most uh, situations, that's all you really need. But... Uh, and there are there are situations where you actually n need to know how that works and why it's not working and for troubleshooting so uh like i said i've been watching a lot of rick's uh, videos and and so far they've been been very instructive and i've been uh, liking that a lot so this is a, basically a big plug for rick mcwhorter over at uh, am or uh, all american five radio uh, i'm gonna put a link to his channel in the description because uh, he is somebody that's worth watching. Um, he's uh, again, again uh, for me. Now it may not work the same way for you. I'm sorry if it doesn't, but for me, it he really gets his point across, and I, I enjoy watching his videos. So that's that. Uh, that's the main reason I wanted to make this video was well, mainly test the the uh, webcam out, make sure that was working which it seems to be because I can see my ugly puss on the <laughs> on the camera thing there so uh, I guess it's working um, so that's gonna do me uh, I don't know when this will be posted because I have a video up for today which is Monday and I have one up for tomorrow which is on the computer and you'll understand more about it than uh, after what I'm saying here after after you see the computer video tomorrow but uh, like I say, that's that's gonna do me. I, I just like I say, I like to make sure everything works, and uh, to see how it works. And I, I've got just about all my computer set up here, and it's working great. I'm very very happy, very pleased with it. Again, thank you, thank you so much to my generous benefactor who sent this to me. It is well appreciated. And uh, like I said, 
keep an eye out for some uh, some little more effective uh, effective more uh, video effects I guess is what I should say uh, on my videos because I'm going to be playing with that 16 gigabytes to play with I've got some room to work with so we're going to do that uh, you know I might just turn this in my fri Friday flap wouldn't that be good I mean I'm, I'm on what 15 minutes and something now 15 and a half minutes uh, that might be the best way to do this <laughs> Uh, but but for you guys that's uh, just learning or want to learn, uh, I think you should check out Rick's channel. Uh, he has the best, by far, uh, explanation of signal flow through an AM uh, radio uh, that I have seen to date. Um, again, he goes into enough detail and he points out the various sections in colored uh, print and does that. He does a very effective job of it, and like I said, that was when I, I was talking about how the ABC uh, voltage is developed and, and runs through there and how, why it comes off the bottom of that transformer. It just, it just much, makes more sense now. I just, just, something clicked up here. Don't know what, but it did. <laughs> you guys may notice I've got a long sleeve shirt on today. It was 30, around 30 degrees this morning when I, I got up. Uh, I didn't have the, <laughs> the heat on. It was still on the AC. Um, I, so far, it had been, you know, 70-something when I get up in the house, which, you know, that's not that cold. Uh, but, uh, you know, it was cold in bed last night. I noticed that pretty much all night. So when I got up this morning, I looked at the uh, thermometer. It was 66, uh, which is, is still not cold but it's not as warm as it had been you know when you go from uh, almost 80 degrees down to 66 that's quite a jump there so yeah it is what it is i guess uh, so i'm gonna say thank you thank you so much for watching and yeah, i do really appreciate it i am up to i think 1500 or uh, 1050 something subscribers i'm still thinking about the uh, contest uh, anybody has any suggestions I would be happy to, to uh, entertain those. And uh, like I said, uh, I want to get something done. Uh, like I said, this might be our last uh, giveaway for a good while. And uh, like I said, uh, I want to get something something nice. And uh, so, uh, and again, I'm trying to think of something, some way of doing it that was a little bit more inventive or a little bit more, you know, exciting, whatever you want to call it, and on how to uh, draw the, choose the winner or whatever. And uh, so that's going to be happening soon. And uh, so I'm making progress. The uh, MFP has not been touched since, I think, Sunday. Uh, no, that was Sunday. Let's see, be Friday. I think Friday was the last day I worked on it. Um, I did the, uh, the little holes for the uh, uh, frequency counter. Uh, those little uh, button holes that you have to, you know, if you case you have to press one of those buttons to get the, something moved around or whatever, you need to do that. It, it can be done. I could stick a, uh, oh, you know, a pick or something down in there or a toothpick or something and, and punch any of, the, any of the four buttons and that will work fine. Uh, so that's, that's done completely uh, as far as it's going to be done. And uh, still waiting on my... Uh, wiring for that uh, for the power parts I kind of like to wait till I get those in before I go wiring all this up um, so I'm in the middle of that uh, I'm looking for my uh, frequency generator I thought I had this a little function generator that I I think I I think I showed that in a previous video here recently and now I've lost it again <laughs> it just it goes away I don't know where they go but they go and uh, like I say I've lost that and uh, so Anywho, I'll find it eventually. Um, so anyway, that's that. Uh, I think I have talked long enough now. I'm going on going on 20 minutes. You guys have a great day. Thank you, thank you so much for watching, and we will see ya.